Last episode, you saw us battling heavy winds to get into Chub Key. We had our COVID test and a mysterious auto helm failure. This episode, we pull the boat apart to try and fix the auto helm problem. We get to explore Chub Key and enjoy its luxuries. And we also came across some poor woman convinced that bad luck will follow her throughout the rest of her life. The challenge we were facing at Chub Key was getting our auto helm to work again. Raymarine sent us off to find the magnetic sensor for the auto helm, so we ended up having to open up all the panels around the boat trying to find this elusive sensor. It eventually turned out to be in the roof of the saloon, and the only reason we looked there was at Laurent's advice because he said it may well be away from all other electronic and metal gear. Wonder of wonders, it was working anyway. So the next step was to trace back all the chains from the steering station and try to find if there was some fault in those connections. Everything looked okay, but just by chance I pushed on one of the cables and the chain felt completely loose. I couldn't see down into the area, so I took a picture with my phone and here it is. It shows the sprocket completely separated from the drive shaft of what turned out to be the Autohelm motor. I then went down into the main cabin and removed the ceiling panels that I didn't even know were there. So what we have here is a loose cable on the drive of the, the gear auto just came off. That's right, autopilot drive basically, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and he did it cause us some trouble trying to find where this damn thing was. We were really lucky to find the three small parts the slug, the nut and bolt, and the washer specifically to hold this sprocket in place. Without any one of these pieces, the repair job would not have worked. What do we loosen that. that. Don't take it all the way out, no, just no. loosen it. That's okay. good. Lovely enough. Is there any way we can loosen the chain up there? The Allen key with the chain on there, but I can't put the chain on there. Has to be with the chain on there, see? Oops, the uh, thing moved. I gotta get that in place. Okay, so this is the bottom of the... We can't rotate it, I'm trying to think. There we go, it's okay, in again. What we should do oh, is... Oh, no it isn't. Okay, uh, okay so... Uh, we don't have to rotate it. Okay, what, what we can do... Uh, I wonder if that moves manually. Oh, there we go. We can... Oh, no, no, we don't want to move it manually. Why not? Because we gotta get the chain on there. It, no, no, no. It was, just, it was just set up perfect. I gotta get this through that slot with the chain on there. Right, okay. I don't want to move it until... Flip it. I'm... Okay, I see, okay. Okay, now we... Straight down, so it's, you're going to have the slot straight up. Yeah, right there. And... Oh, I think it just slid in. You don't think you should put the bolt on the end first, no. just so it doesn't oh, fall off like that. And then i got to make sure it pulls all the way down. Yeah. And that's the, that's the one. I can't see the slot. There it goes. I could feel the slot there. So if it's right there, then I gotta take the chain and hold that there, like that. Put oh, the chain on there. You dropped the. Did it, it come out? Oh, come on! I, I can actually line it with the Allen key because you can see where. Yeah, and I can still feel it. Yeah. So then, yeah, there oh. we go. Now we got it. Ah, shit. Okay, so if I pull this out a little bit so I can see it, there it is. Uh, there we go. Well, well done. That went in. And it's in there. Mm -hmm. Now tighten that down before it comes loose. <laughs> 
So it wasn't that it was turning the wrong direction. It's that this it was, was just, probably not turning at all. It was just going up, free and wheeling on its own. I'm so glad we found the parts. I know. So we are back to the end of the centering rudder process as we've done many times before. We click OK, task complete. What didn't work before, okay, 28 degrees, that's the same as before. New task, center and let go. This is where they ch the machine checks the, the rudders. And of course, yesterday, when we got to this point, nothing happened. But look at that, we have success. <laughs> Water pilot will now move the rudder. It goes all the way to starboard. continue and I want to show you so this that was the sprocket that came off Seriously? with an allen one allen nut wow. well a nut with an allen <gasps> slot and that's all it took and that's what it was wow. oh my goodness. and then this is the engine that drives the autopilot right oh this is the autopilot wow driver so it's here <laughs> I know after all that oh my goodness Wow, well congratulations, you guys are legendary. Oh, my hero. <laughs> it's gonna make sailing an uh, awful lot more pleasant. Uh, okay, yeah. let's, go, right. let's go and have some Fun fun. <laughs>
Tub Key Market. Yep. Frozen goods, some fresh stuff, cheeses, and of course drinks. Okay guys, we wanted to just talk to you about a little experience we had last night when we were at the restaurant and we were being served by this lovely girl um, who then found out we were from Australia because we talked funny apparently. I'm not quite sure what made her think that. Um, we thought everybody else talked funny, but there you go. Um, but yeah, so she said when she found out we were from Australia, what did she say to us? She said, oh! I've always wanted to go to Australia. I love Australia and it's been one of my dreams to go to Australia. And we went, oh great, you know, so for us it's like, well, what's the do problem? It. You know, like when the borders open, go, you know. And she said, um, oh, but you know, so, cause we were all excited for her. In fact, we said, hey, you can come and stay at our place, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, she said, oh, you know, well, you know, I'll never get there. And she said, I've, I've always had bad luck. So it'd be just my luck that, you know, I'd get to finally go to Australia and then I'd get eaten by a shark. And she was serious. Uh -huh. So she stopped herself from doing what was her ultimate dream because of fear about something that is highly unlikely to happen. And, you know, and her whole mindset was just dreadful because there she was saying, oh, I love Australia, you know, I've always wanted to go there. But because of her own negative thoughts about she always has bad luck and she tells herself over and over and over, she, has she always has bad luck. So what happens? She sees bad things happen to her because she's expecting them. And then she says, see, I knew that it happened. And I told you I'd never get to Australia. <laughs> see, I'm right. So, yeah, because we always want to be right. That's right. What we wanted to do was say, sit down, girl. Let's have a little talk, but she was working, so we didn't actually, weren't able to address it. Now, if you are watching this video, and you are that way, and you are that person, download the Tough Minds app, learn the strategies to clear up your mind of those horrible negative thoughts that are stopping you from doing your ultimate dream, because it's all in your control. Both your thoughts and your actions, which lead from those thoughts, are all in your control if you allow them to be. Now, I'm sure that people watching will be able to relate because this is all about what is stopping you, what is crippling you from doing what you want to do in life or being or having what you want to have in life. And yes, we've got a pandemic to deal with and we've got other issues and external things to, that we've got to deal with. But in reality, you are only limited by your own thoughts. In fact, there's a great saying is, the yep. only limitations in life are those that you place on yourself. That's right. So we can make all the excuses under the sun about why we didn't do this or why we didn't get that or why we're not living, you know, the dream life or we've got that boat or we, we you know, didn't have that boat. Didn't have that boat. What's stopping us is oh, the economy, the yeah. COVID, the manager. The and there's economy. always going to be the economy. There's always going to be you know, there are, uh, you know, challenges challenges in life. But and other people that will tell you you can't do it as well. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, don't allow those people and those thoughts to interfere with your success and you doing the things in life that you want to do because it's all in your control. Do it, pivot, redirect, but just go ahead, overcome the challenges as they arise and live your life to the fullest, guys. And okay. if you really want to do something,
Subscribe for free and ding the dong so you don't miss your fix of the next exciting episode. Love and health from the Barefoot Doctors. Love is sexy.